Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video is a tutorial video for the Radio Master Zura Radio and I'm just going to set up, show you how to add two channels so that you can have flaps on your aeroplane and where you added them on maybe after you've built the plane and it was a four channel. And I'm going to show you how to do that. They obviously would need a servo for each of the independent flaps to be able to do this. I'm also going to show you the slow up and down, which is actually quite cool. When you see an aeroplane uh, taxiing out and then the, the flaps just slowly come down, it looks quite realistic. So let's switch over to Edge TX Companion and we'll I'll show you the settings in there and then we'll switch over to the radio. Okay, I've now I've already opened up my model. And what we would have to do is go to the mixes and we're going to add these lines in. Now you need to have the uh, two lines because you're going to have the neutral position when the flaps are in, in level with the ailerons and then you're going to have a position down. So you need two lines or two mixes to be able to do this. So if we go into the first one, you can see our source is max and our weight has got to be zero and it will set zero. And we're going to select whichever switch you would like to select, select that switch. I've, I've selected switch F in the four position. And that is everything we need to put in there. Then we would add a line and you can do that in companion by right clicking and then say add. I've already done it, so I won't add another line. Let's double click it. We're going to go into the source at max and there we're going to put the weight. Now this weight is the amount of movement that we're going to have for the flap. Again, we could use um, global variables to adjust this if we wanted to, but for this video, we're going to put the figure into here. And then we are going to go down to the switch, and now it's going to be the switch SF in the back position, so that will activate the flaps. And then if you look down here, we've got delay and slow. Now, we don't want to cause a delay, but we can put slow. So I put two seconds up and two seconds down, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute to, to show you what happens there. As I say, I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to say OK. Then you repeat those lines for channel 6. So your flaps are going to be on channel 5 and 6. So you repeat it exactly the same. Again, with all of these mixes, they, you, whether it's a plus or a minus weight, you would have to check the orientation of the servos within the aeroplane to make sure it's right. So thoroughly check this before you obviously take your aeroplane off. So that's, we would copy those over and onto our channel six and we'd be ready to go. Let's simulate it. Okay, it's just said the flaps are up. So if we go to our flap switch here, there we go. If you watch here, channel six, uh, five and six, and if we click up, and you can see they're not dropping down quickly. They're slowly dropping down. Right, let's switch over to the radio. We're gonna hit the menu key. We're gonna go page across until we get to mixes and we're going to now look at the lines line one which is the flap in the neutral position we're going to edit that and you can see our source is max weight offset zero and then we select our switch whichever way you want it to be in my case it's switch i call it switch f forward and then we we'll return and the second line is the actual flap setting so we're going to click edit and here we've got max. We put our weight that we want it to be. As I said earlier, this could be a minus figure or plus figure depending on the orientation of the servos in your wing. The offset is zero. Then we've got our switch in the back position. And we then go to the delay, which we put, I put two seconds in. Slow up and slow down. Then you would repeat those lines for channel six, exactly the same. Uh, as we, we did for channel 5. Now if we return, we should be able to demonstrate this on the radio. So if our, our switch is in the neutral position, so, uh, the forward position, so the flaps are in neutral. And uh, there's your flaps coming down. Flaps and there we go. And there we go, we've now added two channels and two servos for flaps on our model aeroplane. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And if there's anything else I can help you with HTX or the Radio Master Zero Radio, please do not hesitate to uh, contact me or leave a comment in the description below. Thanks for watching. 
Happy flying. Bye for now. Thank you.